In this video, I want to show you how to calculate the future value of an annuity due. So if you remember, an ordinary annuity is a stream of cash flow. So we've got a cash flow in period one, cash flow in period two, and so forth. Each period, there's a cash flow. And so with a future value of an ordinary annuity, we're trying to say, okay, if we make a cash flow to, uh, here, we make a cash flow here, and so on, what's the ending balance? What's the ending balance after 10 years, 15 years, and so forth? An annuity due is slightly different. It's still a series of cash flows, but what we're saying is that the very first cash flow is going to occur today. With a future value of an ordinary annuity, we say, okay, it's gonna be 10 years with the first deposit, or cash flow will be made at the end of year one, at the end of period one. But with an annuity due, we're saying, no, the very first deposit or cash flow or payment is going to be made today. Okay, so we're gonna alter the formula a little bit. So the future value of an ordinary annuity, we would say, okay, it's the cash flow, and then we're gonna multiply it by this thing here, which is one plus the discount rate, raised to the nth power and ends the number of periods, minus one, and then we take that divided by the discount rate. Okay, so if we were to take this piece right here, that would be the future value of an ordinary annuity. However, we are doing the future value of an annuity due, so we take the formula for a future value of an ordinary annuity, and then we multiply it by one plus the discount rate. Okay, so you're just taking the future value of an ordinary annuity and multiplying it by one plus R. You get that, and that will give you the future value of an annuity due. Okay, so this entire formula right here, this part is the future value of an annuity due. I'll just put AD right there. Okay, now let me give you an example. It'll make it a little bit easier to kind of put all this together. So let's pretend that, we, that you're trying to invest for retirement. And so you say, well, what if I were to put away $1,000 cash each year, you're gonna deposit that in account for 30 years. But the very first deposit you're gonna to make today. So you're gonna to begin today, you're gonna to put $1,000 into a bank account or some investment account. And then at the end of the uh, next year, you're gonna do the same thing. But the key phrase is you're beginning today, okay? That's what makes it an annuity due. Now, you're expecting to earn a return, let's say of 8%. So that'll be your discount rate. Okay, that'll be the R that we use in the, this formula up here. And so you're wondering, okay, after these 30 years are up, how much money will I have in the bank account? How much money will I have saved? And we can use this formula for future value of an annuity due to figure that out because we're trying to figure out the future balance of your account, okay? So I've just copied, we've got our formula here, I've just copied that from above, and now we're just gonna plug in numbers. So our cash flow is $1,000, okay? So we take that $1,000 and we just put it into our formula. So we say, okay, here's $1,000. And then our R, that discount rate, that's that 8%. But we're gonna convert that to a decimal, so it'd be 0 0.08, okay? So 0 0.08, it's the same as 8%. So we've got one plus 0 0.08 raised to the 30th power. Why the 30th power? Because there's 30 periods, okay? So we've got 30 periods here. So one, point, uh, one plus 0 0.08 raised to the 30th power minus one, and then we divide that by 0 0.08, okay? So this is just this formula here, and I just plugged in the numbers from our problem above. And then we're gonna multiply that by one plus the discount rate, which is one plus 0 0.08. Now, if you calculate all that out, what that would give you is an ending balance of $122,000.346, okay? And I, I've rounded there, for the, we're off a few pennies, but $122,346 is what you would have in the account if beginning today, you stashed away $1,000 each year for 30 years and earned a return of 8%.